Let's hope he gets life. I don't see no real reason why he needs to be let free again. BB and Jack Frost, what's up party people? So today, great news. Nicki Minaj's brother, the other day, has been convicted of the uh, child molestation. And rightfully so, because, you no, know, just flat up and down, it's just wrong. Um, he's not a man. He's not a man. You know, men don't want to have sex with 11-year-olds. He's just, he's not a man. Um, I could sit here all day and, and, and uh, speak on the many different levels that he isn't a man. But we're not going to make this about him at the moment. Because um, I was just watching somebody else's video and I, and they brought up a really great point. Um, this is about how the little girl is going to be healed. She's 14 now. But how is she going to be healed? Now, uh, just to add a little bit of context. Their defense was that the mother... Asked Nicki Minaj for money and Nicki Minaj declined to give her money, so that's why they prosecuted him. Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. The way that this world is, I can't even disagree that that happened. You have mothers and fathers out here that if something bad happens, instead of wanting to get justice, well, they see many different ways of getting justice, might I say. And one of the ways that, that people are considering justice is getting paid. So I don't, I don't know if that happened. I'm not saying that it did happen. But what I am saying is, is that if that did happen, I'm happy that Nicki Minaj didn't pay. Because Nicki Minaj paying means that her brother stays out here in the real world. You know, not incarcerated, where he could then prey on another unsuspecting child, and this is and and this is just bad. Like, there's a lot of single mothers out here, and their worst fears revolve around getting involved with some man that's gonna hurt their children. Their worst fears. And then we got douchebags, like he's not even a douchebag. Douchebags are redeemable. What he did is not redeemable. In the Bible, and I'm not trying to make this about the Bible, but in the Bible it says that one of the worst things that we could do is corrupt children. Period. Whether that means turning kids on to drugs, whether that means... You know, doing something to them to cause for their thinking to, to go in a manner that causes for them to sin. And absolutely, when it comes to sexualizing a child. This girl was 11 years old when, when, when this began. She's 14 now. So you're trying to tell me at least for two years of her life. Because I started hearing about these accusations about a year and a half ago. Maybe a year ago. So my assumption is at least two years, maybe a year and a half of her life. She was regularly being molested by this man. Because you have to assume... It, the, the way the way these perverts work is once they get you, they got you. Once they get you, 
They're going to keep coming back to get more. That's the way these perverts work. When I was a kid, and this is this is something terrible to say, and uh, but when I was a kid, um, I was a little shy boy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I grew up uh, a little isolated, so I was shy when I was a kid. You know, I was the kid that, you know. I, I like I was just shy. You understand what I'm saying? Like I wasn't I wasn't very outgoing when it came to females. But when it came to other things, I was like extremely. Let's go get it. But when it came to females, I was I was really really reserved. I didn't grow up around females. So even to this day, sometimes I'm a little bit confused about like sometimes shit happened and I'm like what? Like <laughs> I'm keeping a buck with you. I'm I'm keeping it a hundred. And uh. A lot of the females that I grew up, not grew up with, but I, I met when I, was, when I was like teenage years, a lot of them would tell me about situations that they were raped or molested. So many females, so many young girls that I would come in contact with would be telling me about how they was raped or they were molested to the point where I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was just a natural, regular thing that just happened. And I was always scared of getting into a relationship with a female that was raped or molested. Because the majority of the females that I came in contact with, it seemed like, had stories about being raped or molested. The majority. When I say majority, I don't mean... Uh, I know... I know 20 females and like... Six of them. Six ain't the majority of twenty. I'm saying if I come in contact, if I if, if I'm saying if I'm talking about if I know twenty, I'm saying sixteen. I'm saying the number was really that high. I used to date this girl, and um, I'm not gonna call her name. Uh. She was, she was, not, she wasn't the first girl that came up to me and, and let me know that they was, like, I, it's like, there's something weird, like, like, um, usually most of the females that I get into relationships with actually come up to me, approach me, so, uh, this isn't where it started at, it, it started, like, in junior high school was the first time any female ever approached me first, um, but this particular young lady, she had approached me at the time I was about 16. She was about 14, not for nothing. And But she was already out in the street. I didn't know how old she was when she approached me. She was already out in the street. She was out and about. We, I was at a party. I was about 16 years old. I was at a party. It was weed, everything going on. It was like 10, 11 o'clock, maybe 12 o'clock. We was at the party. She ran up on me, got my number. She was interested, yada, yada, this and this and that. I had no idea of her age or anything. So I, I get into, we talking, everything's cool. We've been talking for a while. And uh, you know, she was cool, but she was weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was weird. Like, she used to want to fight in the middle of the street all the time. But I'm not about that. And I'm not about that putting my hand on women life. So, and, and I was, and I was like, it really threw me back. I didn't, this was before I, I knew that if a woman is going crazy on you, you can hold her and stop her from hitting you. Like, I thought if a woman was going crazy on you, you really just had to split, my nigga. I'm keeping it a buck. But nowadays, I'm letting you know, if a woman is going crazy on you, swinging on you and all this, you could grab her and hold her. I mean, you could restrain a woman from, from injuring you. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with restraining anybody from injuring you or themselves. There's nothing wrong with either one of those things, in my opinion. So uh, she's, we'd be out in the middle of the street somewhere, and she want to yell, scream, call me all type of N-words, MFs, everything else. Just always trying to embarrass me in public whenever we go anywhere. So I stopped going places with her. And then one day, uh, I was at a house. She lived with her grandmother and her grandfather at that time. 
And she just basically broke it down to me and was like, you know, she she uh sometimes she has to go live with her husband, her uncle, part of me, and her uncle just he just molests her all the time. And she tells the rest of her family about it, and they don't want to do anything about it. Like they know it's happening, but they don't want to do anything about it. I believe her mother uh, was a single mother, and I think her mother passed away or something like that. And they don't they don't her family don't want to help her in the situation. And she was like really wild and everything. So what I'm saying is we got to find some way to help that young girl. Because she's out there in, in the world now. And she's going to have, there's a good chance that, there's better than a good chance that she's going to have issues. And she's going to have problems. And she's not going to know how to deal with them. And she's not going to know how to, how to advocate for herself. And she's, she's just not going to, she's not going to have the same social skills that other kids have. Or other kids have developed or other adults have developed when she becomes an adult because of her experiences as a child. And that's what this man took away from her. This man took away her ability to develop like a normal human being or at least like a semi, like, like, like how people normally develop. He took this away from her. He's facing 25 years of life. He should get 25 years to life. He should get life. He should, he should get enough time that he can't come back out on the street. Now, I'm 100% against rape. But if you tell me that some female was saying that this guy raped her one time, I'm thinking, well... If she proves it, he needs to be held accountable, period. But if it's one of those ambiguous things where nothing could be proven, it's one word against the other. I still lean towards we need to believe the victim. Don't get me wrong. But I personally know of situations where people have accused people of doing things that they didn't. So even if we hold the person accountable, even if the person is absolutely accountable, they raped somebody once yeah, they need to go to jail. They need to be held accountable. But that doesn't mean put them away for life. Now, with that being said, if somebody actually did rape somebody one time, there's a good chance that they've raped before. But we're talking about what we're finding them guilty on. They should absolutely go to jail. If it was an actual rape, that is no question. This man was most likely raping that young girl for years, at least two. This man created an atmosphere where he probably couldn't even be left alone with the girl without touching her. He needs to not see freedom again. So once more, I will reiterate. I am so happy that Nicki Minaj didn't pay them that money if they asked for it. And I believe that's one of the reasons why she didn't go and try to advocate for her brother in court. Because she didn't want to open herself up to any kind of liability or civil matter. And I'm pretty sure, knowing that her brother was guilty, she also didn't want him to be found guilty. And then, all of her barbs decide, you know what? We don't fuck with her no more. But you better believe she knew about it. To the point where when it came out, she knew that nigga was guilty. And you better believe that that little kid is probably not the only child that he's molested. Because that's not how these type of people work. These type of people find access
These type of people shop. They want to find an avenue to be able to get the thing that they want. That's what these type of people do. Let's, 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 let's hope he gets life. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to live but so long. You're going to hear about him committing suicide or something. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that you're going to hear about him committing suicide. I don't think you're going to hear about somebody killing him. I think you're going to hear about somebody committing him, him committing suicide. I want y'all to leave y'all comments down below. Anybody that made it this far in the video, please. Hashtag Bronx Bombers for me. I love y'all. We got to keep each other safe, yo. Young ladies. There's good single mothers out there. There's good single men out there. I'm one. At least I think I'm good. I know for a fact I'm not a child molester. There's single dudes out there. Like I said, I'm I'm one. And I don't believe in not dating a woman because she got a kid or two. That's foolishness. But we have to be more careful. You know, um... And you got to also understand this. These dudes that's really creeps, you're not going to feel the vibe. Like, there's not going to be a situation where these dudes that's really creeps, you're going to look back on and say, oh, man, I had a feeling. Because these guys are professionals at this. You're not going to get a feeling. The dudes that's not creeps are nine times out of ten the dudes that you're going to be like, oh man, I got a feeling about him. I got to stay away from him. Because the dudes that's really creeps, they're professionals at this. They plan for this. Just because a guy is a little bit awkward doesn't mean that he want to freaking diddle kids. And just because some other dude looks like he's the most on point guy in the world that doesn't mean that he doesn't it's hard out here I get it let's hope that young girl get the get the help she needs in order to in order to move on in, in her life and and become a productive member and get a family of her own. That's all I got on this one. I love y'all. Keep each other safe. Watch your kids. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.